will walk now. They won't be blessed. They won't be blessed. They won't be stuck. They won't be relationship. All right. But Lord, I have a blessing to the Lord. So 
because the weapon of all of that are not called the mighty God for the pulling down of strongholds. Every stronghold in my mind, I declare today is pulled down. I'm not just saying that I mean that today is pulled down. I will not live in wrong thinking. Hallelujah. I will not live outside of the will of God. Because he knows that if I can get that thinking in the wrong place, if I can get that thought down in the wrong place, then I can pull them outside of the will of God and the purpose of God by getting that thinking. Because as a man thinking, so it seems. So now we see how the devil wants to attack our mind. But we have the weapon of God to pull down strongholds. Bring every thought into the obedience of Christ in the mind. And to cause everything in us that's disobedience to get back in the right place through the power of our weapons. Okay? Well, the long show that I want to really focus on today is Satan uses, and for those that are right, please write this down. Satan will use every God-ordained relationship to affect your life. Yes. Can I say it again? Satan will use every God-ordained relationship to affect your mind. Yes. Look at the relationships and y'all mind relationships that will bring the most aggravation. They are a parent and child relationship. Okay. God given. Uh -huh. God ordained. Yes. God ordained. Who come up with the idea of father and son? Who come up with the idea of mother and daughter? All God. Right. All right. Man didn't do that. God come on. Y'all got it. Y'all still with me? Amen. Amen. Another relationship is similar. It's in the family category. Marriage. Marriage is a relationship that the enemy uses either past marriages or present marriages. If you want to get some our minds all messed up, our minds will be messed up over marriage. All right. All right. All right. Because it is, it is a, and I heard some say it is an investment to be married. It is work to be married. And so these relationships, and this is a God ordained relationship. Yes. So Satan uses God ordained relationships. So, if marriage is the foundation of a family, children is the extension of a family, anybody else that's in a relationship with you that you call family is in a relationship with you because somebody in your family had a child that's related to you and you all become family or you married to somebody through blood or through relationship. All of these things are God. So Satan uses family in order to come against you and to mess up your mind. Yes. Yes. Your mind is all distracted. You know, this, 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 this. One of the most, two of the most depressing times in anybody's life is these two times. And both of them are the same thing. They're, they're, they're the same thing. We are all the friends, but they're really the same. They were really the same. We call them two different things, but they were really the same. Death and divorce. Okay. If you can study depression, people are more depressed doing death and 
divorce. Divorce is only the death of a marriage. Uh -huh. oh, all right. All right. So you got death and divorce, and these things causes us to be distracted and causes our minds to go quit. We you want you want to have you want to have the biggest confusion. Let somebody die. All right.
You see the Lord walk you. You see the Lord walk and 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 you see the L
to wait on God. Oh, There's so much better to wait on Because if you wait on him, he will give you what you need. So some of our battles are because we didn't wait on him. You ain't fighting the devil. You fighting on what you were willing to wait on.
So next week, when the enemy creep in on the job, he goes to the devil already know what you're trying to do. Already, already, already know what you're trying to do. I, I see you, devil. I see what you're trying to do. I understand why you're trying to mess me up. I see why you're trying to make me go hit the media. I see why you're going to block me. But the devil is a that you cannot come on my job because you think that if I can all frustrate on my job, that I'm not going to seek God like I should seek Him. Right, right. That I'm not going to stay focused, that I'm not going to love God. Or uh, it is always a relationship with God ordained. God gave me this, and if God gave me this job, I thank God that I'm going to work it until the work day. And I'm going to work it until the work day is done. God gave me the family, and I'm going to love them until I die. And you can't get to the point I don't care how they treat you. Because some of us been treated low down and dirty. But can we praise God that God's giving you the power to love them regardless? I'm so glad I got the kind of Holy Ghost that will help me love my enemies. Yes. 
I saw the sickness and asked, asked her, a preacher said, is, is it a percentage of, of truth, but it's not total truth? No, it's a, it's a, it's a percentage of being correct, but it's not total correct. That's why, that's why I'm telling you 
go make no sense. When fun, confusion breaks out of the family, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. It ain't gonna make no sense. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna be able to figure out how to calculate. You, you, the psychologist ain't gonna be able to give you no answer. The psychologist or nobody else ain't gonna be able to give you no answer. Because it's crazy. crazy. Because it's the wild of the devil. He's using these relationships oh, to yes. get your mind all talk. Oh, yes. yeah. But we as the believers must identify what the devil is doing. Yes.
deeper than it is the intellectual side. That's our minds. And we have another check of our soul. That's the emotional side. Amen? Which is our, the, our emotions. So we have an intellectual side and we have the emotional side. So in our soul is where decisions are made. We either make decisions based upon things making sense or things feeling right. So we make, we make emotional decisions or we make intellectual decisions. And so in our soul is where we make our decisions. We make a decision for Christ in our soul. We make a decision, you make a decision to come to church in your soul. You make a decision to watch a YouTube video in your soul. It was either intellectual, uh, emotional, or political. Whatever way it was, you made a decision to make to, 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 to come to church. You made a decision to do these things in your soul. What would it happen? to gain the whole world and lose his soul. Now, this is what I want to say. Your spirit is in perfect relation with God when you give your life to Christ. Okay? We are made righteous. Our spirit man, and this is why I like to get out of confusion, but they don't want to separate the soul and the spirit. We are made righteous because of Jesus died on the cross by accepting him in our spirit man. Our spirit man is made righteous. Okay, but we have to work out our own soul, sal soul salvation with fear and trembling because our soul has to be renewed. Our soul is being saved. Our spirit man is already saved. And our flesh ain't playing without getting saved. Amen. Amen. So in our souls, we have emotions and we have our mind. If we can't touch our spirit, because our spirit is sealed to the redemption. But he can try to influence our emotions or he can try to influence our mind through relationships of family, employment, and church. I come today to let's tell you all this. All I say today was to make you aware of the device of sin. Don't be in your love. Understand this. This is only a trick of the enemy to pull you outside the world. We need you in the heat of the battle. 